Hello everyone. Hope everybody's doing good. Today this video is going to be on um, pressing different items on um, honestly speaking paper. Um, I'm going to do a luggage tag from Heat Press Nation, a Christmas ornament, a stocking, mask, socks. I thought I'd try to change it up a little bit. I know you guys were tired, probably tired of all the socks. So, let's get to it. Um, let me see what my thing is set at. Okay, we're going to do 385 for 45 seconds on these two items. That's what I'm comfortable with. So we're going to go ahead and um, do that. Make sure you lay your paper down. Make sure your press is at the right um, pressure before you press anything. There we go. I'm kind of light pressure. We'll see how that goes. Hope everybody's doing good. I hope you guys like the other videos that I've done. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, share. It might help somebody else out there. Make sure you do what the company recommends. Every press is different. You might have to tweak it along the way. Everybody has a different, their press runs different temperature and stuff like that. But you definitely do not want to um, burn anything. So this is what's left on the paper. Careful, it is hot. Look at that. You can't see the colors. This is where you, you need one of those oven mitts. Okay, let's. Whew, we're gonna just let that cool down a little bit, and I'll show you the um, the other side. Make sure you get clean paper. We'll go ahead and do another ornament. I mean, do the ornament while I let that one cool down some before I press the other side. You can use tape. You can use spray if you want. I don't. I just like to pray along the way. Say a little prayer with me. Okay, we're at 380. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. We're not gonna wait. See if this has cooled down. Oh, it went a little crooked. But look at the colors. It came off the paper. I'll leave a link where I got this. I got it off of Etsy. The design. The same thing with this design. I got it off of Etsy too. Got it. So this was pressed at 380 for 45 seconds. And the paper moved too, so the little crane didn't help on this one. But it's okay. Here's the paper. We're gonna let that one cool down. And let's make sure I line this one up. A lot better than I did the first one. Make sure you get rid of those papers. Don't use them again. Okay, 
the temperature is not on back up. This is why it's good when you press on paper that you don't need the high temp. I'm just eerie since I pressed it at one temp. Um, if it would change, um, you know, the color. Whoops, it just moved. And I didn't line it up. Um, from the back, so I think that was my problem. And you know what? This is her paper, so we don't even need a cover sheet. So there you go. Just make sure you put one underneath. See what happens when you go back and forth to different papers? You get confused. But I gotta use up what, what I got. So, this is honesty paper. I did it on the did it on the ornament. Now I'm doing it on a luggage tag, the um the real thick thick plastic ones. I don't know what they're made out of. But all the sub companies sell them. Okay, we'll let that cool down and then I'll show you. So let's do the next one. Now since I remember what paper I'm using, I don't need to um, worry about the blowout paper moving the top paper. So here's the, it's still hot. Quiet. <laughs> so beautiful <laughs> pink colors. That's what's left on the paper. Nothing really. And I do print on matte, even though it's not recommended. But I print on matte. So let's let that one cool down some. That one's hot. So let's go to the next, the next one. Let's do the mask. This one, I am going to lower it to 30 seconds. And 380. All right. There we go. I got some deliveries coming. So, make it donated to my delivery guy, I just tape it to the door. He grabs it. So this paper, you don't need blowout on top. You don't have to cook it so long. You don't need the high temp. And you still get the full release from the paper. All 
right. And here's the ornament, the front of it. Very cute. All right, make sure you stretch your papers. I got another one to do. So this is all, um, this whole video is um, honesty paper. My temperature dropped. Let me get the other items ready. I got a pair of socks to do, and then a, um, um, what do you call it? A stocking. And for these items, doing it at a lower temperature is um, really good because then you don't damage the item. By overcooking it, burning it, or anything like that. What is going on? <sighs> it's at 380 for 30 seconds. I don't know what it's doing. You don't need blowout on top. Just make sure you put craft paper on the bottom. And let me get my sock ready. Do print on mat. Make sure you change your paper out. Get a new paper. Let me check my pressure. came out right. Let me see about these ones. Where did the other one go? So weird. Huh. I got a tiny one and then I got a big one. Okay. I don't know what happened there. That's what happens when your programs and your print files are at different PIs. You think it's the right size, and then you print and it's not. So. All right, let me get these on and then I'll cut those too. Trying to make sure because the number, the thing's not going up. Making sure I didn't put it on that that stupid one that your numbers don't heat up. It just stays there or whatever. Okay. 
Let's go, let's go. We got places, places to go, people to see. All right, this paper does not need the blowout on top. 30 seconds. It fully releases, even when you print on mat. And you save so much more money without having to get blowout paper to put on top and the bottom. All right. So we're going to flip, switch, and, well, we don't need to roll because it's not a full bleed. Let's You want to read it backwards. People start walking around thinking they're dyslexic or something. See something that's not really there. All right, and then we have the Christmas stocking that I'm going to do real fast. This one I bought, I don't know, it's one I've had. I thought, well, let me try it out on the paper. It'd be a good thing to practice on. I am going to do the front and back. Never done that. All right. Awesome. Shit. Be careful. The jigs are really hot. It probably looks backwards to you because my camera is straight facing. Slowly take your socks off the jig. Be careful. They are extremely hot. Change your paper. Okay, I'm going to have to pre-press maybe. I don't really want to. I did put paper underneath because this red does bleed through on my other ones. Trial and error. So let's see. Um, what temperature, uh, what pressure I need. Oh yeah, that's way too light. Oh, that one's too heavy. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and let me just do 335. at um, 384 just because I print on um, I print on mat all right so there's no name it's honesty so we're going to put the paint name here I don't tape I don't spray I probably should but All right, I am going to just cover it just because it's white. And that's the only reason, just in case that from um, all the, my other presses, I don't get nothing on there. So this is the last thing, I believe. Let me look around, because I always do that when I find something. I think this is it. So if this video helped you anyway, or you got a good laugh, hit like. Until next time, um, I'll see what I come up with. Um, I am going to do this double-sided. So here's the paper. It totally is gone. This was green. Even though it looks black.
look at those colors. Just crazy. Just crazy, crazy. The colors. I'm just, I don't know. If you can't get these colors, you might need to uh, adjust something. I don't know what, it, but it's something. Okay, 380, 35 seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Until next time, I'll see what's coming up. But I love being able to not use a blow up paper, lower temperature, lower man. You get stuff done so much faster. Plus, you save you money because it's not transferring onto your other items and it's not ghosting. I just wish I had a bigger size paper that I could just use it all the time. You know what? It didn't even bleed through because I cooked it at a lower temperature. The red. Crazy. Look at that. So rich. So much detail. Well, until next time, thank you for watching.